World Cup qualifiers, American region, as it is Puerto Rico at home facing off against Mexico. Two teams then in Group D. They already know their fate. They already know that they will make up two of the three teams that have qualified forward into the second round of World Cup qualifiers. Cuba, the team missing out from Group D. But the question for these two teams is, what will be the record they carry forward for Mexico? Four wins and one loss. For Puerto Rico, two wins and three losses. And now, now they have their sixth and final game of qualification with every result moving forward with the teams into the second round. So a big game, a great opportunity for them to take a record into the second round that gives them the best chance of then qualifying forward into the World Cup. It is two teams that have a rich history at the World Cup level. Here we see the Mexican team they have made the World Cup five times in their history. And last time coming in 2014, after the first time they made it way back in 1959. Highest position they've recorded is an eighth place finish in 1967. But a country with a rich history, and they made it at five times. Uh, coming to this one full of confidence, four and one, uh, sorry, five and one record they're hoping to get after today's game. A good win for them over Cuba on a Friday night as well. Our hosts cheered on by this large contingent here in San Juan, Puerto Rico. Really are a famous team at the World Cup level. Currently sit in fifth position, but really it's tied third with 14 appearances at the World Cup. They trail only Brazil and the United States, who have appeared at all 18 competitions. For uh, Puerto Rico, uh, we present in 2019. Their longest streak is uh, nine consecutive. World Cup appearances after a fourth place finish in 1990 being their highest. So Puerto Rico out onto the floor here as we will take a short break. And the crowd will stand for the playing of the national anthems. First of Mexico and then Puerto Rico.
fine rendition of the Puerto Rican national anthem then. As the teams come together and we see our officiating crew for today's game. It is Michael Weiland, Juan Fernandez and Jason Steele from Canada, Argentina and Canada. So the final game, as we said, for these two teams. We come into it having uh, different results on Friday. The first game for both teams in this international window. Mexico getting the win over Cuba. It was a hard-fought game for them, but they came out on top in the end. 75 to 66. And as Orlando Mendez, he had just two points on one of six shooting. On that game on Friday night, the Mexicans led by the veteran point guard Paul Stoll. He will be in the starting lineup alongside Fabian Jaimez, Paco Cruz, Gabriel Giron and Daniel Amigo. Same starting five for Mexico as the other night. Paco Cruz, the star man, really. Uh, 16 points for him. He took a back seat to Paul Stoll on Friday, but he traditionally is the go-to guy alongside Gabriel Giron, who had 15 as well in that game. That is Omar Quintero, the former player for the national team now in charge as the head coach of Mexico. For Puerto Rico, their starting five will be George Condit, Jose Alvarado, Philip Wheeler, Jean Clavel, and Christopher Ortiz. So for Puerto Rico, they went down on Friday to the US. They performed well, losing 75 to 83. This is coach Nelson Conlon looks on the addition for the first time of Jose Alvarado proving uh, beneficial he led the way 20 points personal for his team four assists as well and then it was uh, Clavel in the starting lineup who had 17 points and then off the bench Ismael Romero with 15 as double figure scorers um, but for you know, Puerto Rico, disappointing first half. They trailed at the half by five. And then trailed by 15 going into the final quarter after a disappointing 14-point scoring uh, period in the third. So both teams have qualified, remember. They're both into the second round, but they will carry this result with them. So for Puerto Rico, going forward with two, just two wins and four losses, should they not be able to get victory here today, will make qualification out of that second round group extremely hard indeed. For Puerto Rico, that, for uh, Mexico though, what an opportunity for them to tie the US going into that second round with a five and one record, only losing out from top spot from Group D on the head-to-head. -head. That is a great opportunity from them, but uh, they need to step up here in a tough environment, a beautiful arena here in San Juan. And there is Jose Alvarado, a new man into this Portuguese, uh, Puerto Rican team. This time after a fabulous rookie season for him, for the uh, New Orleans Pelicans. then in their red uniforms Mexico in the white as we are about to get underway here in San Juan welcome then to Mexico versus Puerto Rico. Final game of qualification for these two teams. It is game day six. The jump ball is up, controlled by Mexico. It is Paul Stoll, a veteran point guard with possession for Mexico. And man to man defense, this is gonna be a great matchup to watch. Alvarado taking the challenge of trying to slow down Paco Cruz. There's Cruz, the uh, former leading scorer in the Turkish first division being hounded all over the floor. Look at that defense. Jose Alvarado fired up. No nod to the crowd from him. Just one second on the shot clock now for Mexico to try and get something away. 
Giron will bring it in. Cruz, a lot of room, gets it away in time, hits the ring. And there's the danger man on the offensive glass. Jaimez getting a hand on it. But can't come away there as Puerto Rico comes swiftly the other way. Immediately they go to the inside. But the shot doesn't fall for Conduit. It is Stoll. Bringing it down. Mexico will try and control tempo. The shot doesn't fall. And here comes Alvarado. As it's kicked to the corner. Long three. Doesn't go, Condut. Making a challenge, a nuisance of himself on the offensive rebound. So. It has just finished his college career at Iowa State University in the U.S. He has uh, turned out for the Portuguese, uh, Puerto Rican national team before, played the Olympic qualifying tournament in Serbia last year for them as it goes to the inside. Giron, Giron, known as a shooter from the outside. I like to see that from him. He uses the power game and gets his team off the mark early lead for mexico then as alvarado goes through the gears that's the change of pace that he has alvarado ties it at two apiece gets himself off the mark oh. i remember he scored 20 points in his debut for puerto rico on friday Let's see how he does here tonight he's going to have to close out on paco cruz as cruz misses Puerto Rico coming the other way. Clavel has the ball, loses it, and uh, will then move it on. This is Conduit. It's Carl Alvarado on the cut. Apologizes before it goes, but that is the man of the moment right there. Jose Alvarado playing his first game in Puerto Rico. God's Cruz. Cruz gives it up. Jaimez for three, doesn't go. Rico looking comfortable here. Early drag screen. Conduit drives, fouled, and will be at the line. Strong start from him as well. Mentioned, he's just finished his college career. He was born in, um, in Chicago. As conduit, as we see the uh, the scores from Alvarado, but, uh, his Puerto Rican mother means he is eligible to play for Puerto Rico. He has uh, just been drafted into the uh, Puerto Rican Superior Nacional division as well as the second overall pick in their draft. Will be playing his uh, club basketball in Puerto Rico next season. As the three is up, Giron, or oh, hot start for Gabriel Giron. Five points from him after the strong game against Cuba. He had 15 points then, but just five of 12 from the field, actually. Alvarado can't get the finish. Can't do it on the glass. It's a good start from him. And it is uh, the double-headed monster of Condit on the inside. Alvarado on the perimeter. Stoll. Fouled. He'll love a challenge like this. Paul Stoll. Likes a hostile environment. Likes uh, to prove himself. As we see the offensive rebound and put back. Here is Cruz. Cruz. Goes behind his back, pulls up, misses another one. And he's got a couple of good, decent looks. Paco Cruz doesn't don't see him miss too many. Can't get this one to go against the uh, the attention of Jose Alvarado though. Now Ortiz hands it off. Alvarado off the screen. Alvarado trying to attack against Amigo. Good hands from Giron. And Giron is uh, playing well so far. 
Isn't he? On the defensive end as well. Look at the reach in. Here it is. Tips the ball away. Great defense from Jadon. Foul is going to be called. Against the Alvarado. He's a my kick. It's to the bench to complain. Got to be careful. To go down as a personal foul against Jose Alvarado. He's just trying to, trying to calm him down. So it will be an opportunity for Paco Cruz. We said he's missed a couple early. It was a good start for him to see the ball go in the basket. This is the free throw as well. It will be Mexico possession now. Alvarado playing with some, a lot of emotion. Stole, takes the contact. Oh, nice little spin from Amigo. Doesn't go. He's coming the other way. Alvarado loses the handle, regains possession. Guarded by Stoll. Quick three. Doesn't go for Puerto Rico. Jaimez, who's an excellent rebounder, actually leads the Americas region in rebounding in the qualifiers. Has it here, finishes it off. You know, he's an X factor, Fabian Jaimez. There's so many little things that you don't really notice. Really is a great addition to this team at that four spot. Undersized, but plays uh, bigger than this frame. Here he is on the defensive end. Alvarado. Nice pass and the dunk. Wow, that's just beautiful basketball from Puerto Rico. Gondit loves it. And rightly so, was the pass through the legs. That's what I want to see a replay of. Jaimez, his three doesn't go. Amigo picks it up. Here is Giron kicking it to Stoll. That's great basketball from Mexico. And again, Gabriel Giron making a good play. Penetrates. He had Amigo, but saw Stoll open for the three point shot instead. Good decision making from him. Mexico have a two point advantage. Alvarado gets a clean look. Can't get it down, though. And rebound tipped before it eventually falls to Paul Stoll. Into the gaming start to this one. Stoll wants some room, finds Amigo. That's the shot he loves. Amigo, the little push. So a uh, four point lead for Mexico. Kick it out. Quick ball movement round from Puerto Rico. The open three misses. Badly. Cruz scoreless in this one. Trying to work some space. It's a patient player though, Cruz finds Jaimez. Jaimez lays it up. Easy finish for him. So now Puerto Rico trying to get a response. Quick hands, but Foul would be called against Stoll on the floor, according to the referee, before any act of shooting, so Ortiz. in from the end line. Quick fire from the three is good. Puerto Rico get that one to drop. Fine looking shot for Clavel. There's a nice pass as well from uh, Alvarado out of bounds. Jaimez. Nice footwork. We're going to push now for Puerto Rico. Clavel. Goes to the inside. Oh, nice move. Crowd enjoyed that one, didn't they? Ismael Romero, he said he was a double-figure scorer off the bench in that loss to the USA on Friday. Stoll controlling things. Into the hands of Go Cruz. Cruz guided by Alvarado. He's won that match so far, Alvarado. And now, Puerto Rico in transition. 
Don't get the layup, but they will keep the ball. Good work, really, from Gabriel Giron just to uh, knock it out of bounds. There's Romero on the finish, easy to the middle for him. More substitutions coming in. Gary Brown for his first action. And it's Brown moving it on. Now the extra pass and the slam. Ortiz getting up high. And a powerful finish from him. Stole to Giron. Giron. Forced into the fadeaway. Great defense from Clavel, but Giron's going to take it away and lays it up for two. Giron did not give up on that one. What a start he has had. Mexico, 16 points. Giron leads the way for them. He has seven personal. Stole. And that ball screen defense, but again, they roll down the middle. Nice extra pass. Corner three was open, but doesn't fall. Cruz now. This is a Mexican team. This is uh, played together a lot. Show, shows there as Amigo moves it on to Jaimez. He gets his first two of the game. Puerto Rico now. They showed a lot of aggression in the early stages here but they trail by three points brown off the screen brown moves it on nothing really available now oh lovely behind the back and then a foul as the buzzer sounds so clavel will be at the line two shots i think yeah feet were on the line Substitutions coming in for the Puerto Ricans then. As we see Jordan Murphy entering for the first time. Uh, Mexico will go to their bench as well. We do have Jorge Gutierrez to come in. He is a, you know, essentially a sixth starter for this team, the former um, NBA player. But they don't have the depth of Puerto Rico, that is for sure. Gutierrez and Mendez have come in. They'll probably have one rotation on the inside as well, the Mexicans. I expect to see Israel Gutierrez come in on the inside. That may well be as deep as they get, that eight-man rotation. So Stephen Thompson is in. Puerto Rico on the other side. Already having played 10 players now in the first quarter. Mendez off the screen. To Cruz. Cruz with eight on the clock. Dancing with the ball, trying to find that room. You can tell he's a big part of the scout report. Now he's going to get a clean one. Still can't get it to go, though. And the other way, Puerto Rico looking to push. Brown. He has it. This is the screen. Nice little hook pass from him. Reyes. Finish is good. Reyes with the friendly bounce to give Puerto Rico the lead inside the final. Ten seconds here. Gutierrez, the feed. Jaimez can't finish. And that will be the end of the first here. Jaimez frustrated. Good first quarter for both teams. Tight one here in San Juan. After the first period, it is Puerto Rico 19, Mexico 80. Well, a quick 10 minutes, that one. Both teams look shooting it great from two point range. Bit of a struggle from three. Only a free throw between them, though. So it's been an up and down game here. Some of the best plays. It's been a great game. Enjoyed it so far. 
Alvarado fired up for his team in the early stages. He's done a great job defensively against Paco Cruz. But Gabriel Giron has taken up the challenge to be the, uh, the offensive player for Mexico. He leads the way for them. For Puerto Rico, it's been a balanced scoring effort. Those three-point shots have been rare. It is uh, Condit. I've been impressed with offensively for the Puerto Ricans. Jaimez has six. For Mexico, is there is Condit. Ortiz with the power finish for the Puerto Ricans, as I said, they've gone deep in their bench early. Ten players have scored, they've played already in this one. Six players having scored for their team as well. Interesting to see if that depth will pay off for them later in the game, as they definitely can go deeper into the bench than this Mexican team. So. Puerto Rico coming out onto the floor. Mexico already there. Mexico with the one change. There is Israel Gutierrez. Mentioned he's the other man that's probably going to come in that inside rotation for Daniel Abigo. Apart from that, teams remain the same. So it is uh, Brown, Murphy, Reyes, Romero and Thompson for Puerto Rico with the ball. Here is Reyes. Excuse me, that's Murphy. Murphy loses it. Gutierrez coming the other way. Cruz for three. And Paco Cruz, that's a dangerous sign if you're Puerto Rico. He missed some good opportunities early. He's not going to continue to do that, that's for sure. And Gutierrez nearly gets the steal. So for Mexico, it's Jorge Gutierrez at the point. Cruz and Mendez on the wing. And then Fabian Jaimez alongside Israel Gutierrez up front. There's Coach uh, Colon, man in charge of this Puerto Rican team. Been impressed with their start. As Brown has it, he'll come off the screen. Brown kicks it. It's good. Three point shot. Nothing but the bottom of the net. Well, Justin Reyes, apologies for the loss of graphic on your screen. Try to keep you updated. It is 21 plays 19. I'm sorry, 22 plays 21 now. After that three from Reyes gives Puerto Rico the lead. Jaimez gets it back though for Mexico. Jaimez, a great start for him. So he usually does the things that don't show up on the scoreboard, but he's got eight points here. In the early stages, just one minute into this second quarter, Mexico the slender lead. Brown. Oh, backs it home. Brown <laughs> lost the ball, had to just throw it up with the shot clock buzzer going. Makes the three as Gutierrez drives in, just manages to avoid the shot block. Shot clock will be reset as the ball hit the ring. Mendez is a great shooter. Comes up short on that one. And here comes Puerto Rico. Brown kicks it out. The scoop pass to Thompson. And that is why great recognition from Puerto Rico. We knew Thompson was trailing the play. And throw it back to him to hit the three. Gutierrez now gives it over to the other Gutierrez in Israel. Now Mendez to Cruz. Cruz's three doesn't go. Saved by Puerto Rico. Here comes the transition. Doesn't go. The putback is good. Well, the first one from Romero missed. The putback was there. It was Reyes on it. Energy all for Puerto Rico. It's going to be a timeout here because the lead is ballooned to seven. An 8-0 run after trailing by one. 
And now Puerto Rico are up 30 to 23. Puerto Rico 30, Mexico 23, 7, 35 remains in this second quarter. Timeout called by Mexico. Coach Quintero needs to talk it over. He said a quick 8 0 burst that was from the, uh, the Puerto Rico team. Out of nothing, really. They tried 22 23. As, uh, they lead this second period 11 to 5. Here we see Brown, he's banked three. That helped, didn't it? Before this one from Thompson. And a crowd on their feet, they're enjoying that. So it'll be Mexico possession after the timeout. How can they regroup here? Jorge Gutierrez comes to collect the ball. Bit of pressure against him, but breaks that no problem. Now, out of the timeout, where are they going to go? Mendez comes to collect. Mendez comes off the screen. Kicks it. Gutierrez has to step back. Foot was on the line. Misses everything. Great defense from Puerto Rico. Brown controlling the ball now. Maybe a whistle away from the action though. Foul is called as Cruz is going to head out. So Cruz and uh, Gutierrez take a breather. There is Amigos come back on in the inside and then Giron who was fabulous in his spell in the first quarter. He's also come back in. Changes for Puerto Rico as well. Uh, Brown remains in the game as Jose Alvarado comes back. He's on that far side, being guarded by Orlando Mendez. Brown has made one off the bank, doesn't get that one to go. Rebound snatched in by Murphy. Ten seconds on the clock now. And go to the inside, Romero. Go for the double dribble. It's about Romero. Wants to get some clarification for the referee. Go for a double dribble. So it's still the seven point lead though for Puerto Rico here. Giron moves it on. Mendez. Thought about the three, didn't quite have the space. Now he runs the high screen with Amigo. Here is Amigo. Trying to find some room with the spin. And gets it to fall. Amigo spins around on the spot and have to free himself to get the hook away. Makes it a five-point game. Low pass, a poor one, picked up off his toes by Thompson. Now back to Alvarado, pulls up and he knocks it. Jose Alvarado strokes it home for six points personal. Gutierrez moves it on. Mendez. Skips it over to Jorge Gutierrez. His jumper is good. Oh, he said he's a man who's spent many a season in the NBA. So he'll love this occasion. As he gets his first two. Alvarado waits to use the screen. Does. Snakes in front of uh, Gutierrez and gets the floating shot to go. That's the quality of Jose Alvarado. Eight points now for him after the 20 point night against the US. On Friday, Giron finds Amigo. Amigo's been good in that short roll. Good pass out. The shot doesn't go for Gutierrez. And now Puerto Rico quickly the other way. Brown takes the early shot. Doesn't get it. Look at the move. 
The spin from Thompson, the extra pass, Romero gives it back. Thompson, another one. He knew that was him, didn't he? Thompson, as soon as it came out of his hand, he was back. Knowing it was going to hit the bottom of the net. That's a foul, it's called. Here we see Romero desperately trying to get his shot away. Finds the open man in Thompson. He knocks it down. No problem at all. Stole for three. And get it to go. There's the tip tipped out of bounds. My amigo stays with Puerto Rico then. See Clavel back into the game, just stretching that hand out, see if he is okay to continue. Kind of flex it now. As the floor spaces for him to use this ball screen. Kicks to the corner. Alvarado's three in and out. And Paco Cruz <laughs> brings it down. Alvarado takes the long way round, tries to sneak up behind Cruz. Looks of him doing that in the NBA on the internet. And there's once more, it's Giron getting to the inside. Rio Giron having a good game for Mexico. Points personal for him. You see what shit on. Makes the cut on this near side. Good work. And it's Amigo again. You've got to give him credit in that uh, pick and roll play. He's been able to execute out of that short roll. Like I said, taking it right around foul line area, made his little push shot, and a couple of times some really good passes out as well Alvarado shoots, shoots over the top of Stoll but comes up short, and it's Amigo on the rebound this time turnover gives it back to Puerto Rico <laughs> so Jose Alvarado brings it down We'll use the early screen. Nope. Attacks towards the baseline is dead. Runs into two people. Still manages to throw it out. And Ortiz is there for his second dunk of the game. Ortiz just waited. Nobody rotated over. Poor breakdown defensively. So Stoll off the screen. Finds Amigo and he slams it home in response. What a game this has been for Daniel Amigo. This is the best I've seen him. And he's got to play on the defensive end. Condit fouled on his way to the basket. So he will get two shots. You see Stoll hits him, he going stride. Easy finish for the big man. And he said, yeah, this is the best game I've seen him put together. A bit of everything, Amigo. He's got six points, four assists, two rebounds. And his next challenge is to slow down George Condit. He has five points and five rebounds himself. Two for two. Amigo looks out against the pressure. They nearly turn it over. Being a bit too casual there, Mexico. Stone eventually collects it. They trail by 10 here, though. They've given up 41 points in this first half. As Amigo goes to the tough hook, it doesn't quite fall this time. Alvarado looking to push the tempo. I'd like this up tempo game here. Alvarado's kick out, watch out. Ortiz for three. Well, Chris Ortiz is doing a bit of everything so far. 
Knocks down the three. He's had two big dunks as well. He says thank you very much. Alvarado and a timeout is going to be called by Mexico. Mexico need to talk this one over. Puerto Rico playing some inspired basketball here at home. They put up 44 points. They've still got two minutes and 14 seconds left in this first half. A lot of work on the defensive end needed from Mexico. Players coming back out. Puerto Rico 25 to 13 in this second period. There's a three for Ortiz. And who plays here in Puerto Rico. As he has done for a number of years. He has spent some time in Europe, Finland and Denmark. But uh, you know, going all the way back to the 2016-17 season. He's been playing in Puerto Rico as well. So stole out of the timeout. Team trailing by 13. Cruz curls. And there you go. Tries to make the tough pass. Gives it up. Well, it was a good look from Amigo, but you're trailing by 13. The other team rolling offensively. Not sure that's the time for trying to thread the needle in such a difficult pass. So... Possession for Puerto Rico once more. Thompson off the screen as it knocked away. In line possession. Alvarado gets it in. It comes high. Denied well by Cruz. Ortiz has just made one. Count it. Knocks down the second. Well, the crowd knew it, didn't they? They know the scam report better than uh, Mexico right now because Ortiz has 10 points, two dunks, two threes. Simple stuff from him. Stole. Skips it up to Amigo. And Amigo lays it in. Lovely feed from Stoll. There's 80 seconds left of this first half. Can Mexico get a couple of stops here? Nice. Puerto Rico move it on nicely. Thompson. An illegal screen. Yeah, Condit. Heavy contact. This is these three from Ortiz. Yeah. Crowd like that one. They were up early. They knew it was going to go in. So. 14 points the difference. Ismael Romero comes in. Condit, there we see him taking a little breather. One minute left. Stole off the screen. Now he uses it from Amigo. This same plays worked well. Amigo can't finish this time though. Cruiser tried to cut rather than hold the corner. There's the feed gets toward his. He doesn't score, but he's going to go to the line here. Sorry, it's Ismael Romero. And we'll be at the line. Look at that pass. Alvarado. I love the energy this Puerto Rican team has brought to the first half. And tears at the line. Excuse me, I just said that it's Romero at the line. He makes the first. Three points on the game for him. Two for two. So now Stoll. 
bringing it down. Chiron fouled. Fouled to give for Puerto Rico. Don't think they'll be too frustrated with that one. And Chiron had a fine spell in that first quarter, didn't he? Nine points, he leads the way. As Amico and Jaimez have eight apiece as well. Cruz trying to give it back to Giron. Another turnover. Look at this, three on one. Watch out. Easy finish. It is good work from Puerto Rico. Clavel makes it. Turning defense to offense. Could be more here. As it's going to be Puerto Rico ball. 16 seconds remaining. Wow. Yes, fired up, and you can understand why. Great defense from Puerto Rico. Great work from Reyes, and now they have the timeout. They can call, get something organized for this final shot. Let's have another look at the D. Just uh, comes from behind, tips it out, stole. It came off his foot last. Great work from the referee. Too much, but you know that man on the sideline is a happy one. Not so much uh, for Coach Contero there, but Nelson Colon must be delighted with this first 20 minutes from his team. They have the 51 to 33 lead. They will take that as a minimum, but a chance to extend it here with what should be the final shot of this first half. Another play's blown up, they'll attack Romero. Comes the trip to the line. Alvarado tells him, why did he go so early? He's given the opportunity for Mexico here, 9.3 seconds. They will have after the two free throws. So Amigo comes back in. Offensive and defensive substitutions from Mexico. This is the first. This is why going early wasn't a great decision now. He's only going to get one point maximum from this if Puerto Rico turn around and, excuse me, uh, Mexico get a score at the other end. A negative loss. And we better just hold the ball. He misses both. And now Stoll has five seconds. Stoll off the quick screen and Romero is going to foul him. It's unsportsmanlike as well. He tried to use the foul to give. Romero knocks him to the floor. It'll be two shots and possession for Mexico. Let's have a look. Well, tough to see from that angle. Paul Stoll will be at the line for two shots here. Been a quiet game for him, just three points. And timeout for Mexico, so they're trying to draw something up on the board over there. Number one, good for Stoll. Two of two, well needed. Can they get another score here in this final 2.9 seconds? Substitutions coming in for Puerto Rico. Defensive subs come in. Bring Philip Wheeler in. Stole the entry man. Here comes Giron. 
Cruz, a little bit of space. Steps back, fires it up. Oh, nothing too far off. And Mexico will take the two free throws to win that quarter for sure. They managed to cut into the lead just slightly, but still a great first half from Puerto Rico. They lead this one. It is Puerto Rico 51, Mexico 35. Teams heading to the benches. Let's have a look at the numbers so far. Some impressive stuff for Puerto Rico. 71% for two, 50% for three as well. Seven of 14, doing everything right at that end of the floor. The rebounding battles hugely skewed in favor of the Puerto Rican team as well. Ortiz leads the way, the only man in double figures, but Alvarado. He has eight, uh, Reyes seven for Mexico. It is Geron, Amigo, and Jaimez, their three leading scorers. Now we see some of the best plays in the first half. The thing I'll notice is there's going to be very little from Mexico for Pusto or for um, Paco Cruz. Be two most creative players for them offensively. So often they're the leaders for this Mexican team, but they're struggling in that first half yet to really get going. Yes. Stoll, one of three from the field, five points, two assists, or three assists for him. Paco Cruz, one of eight from the field, only three points and assist, way right below what we usually expect for him. Puerto Rico having done that great job defensively. They've been, you know, been super efficient on this end of the floor. Move the ball well and take the openings when they've been given. And you see the strong play from Ortiz. He's a man who's done exactly that. Couple of uh, dunks for Ortiz, couple of threes. And that is 10 points wrapped up for him. Can this Puerto Rico team maintain this energy here in San Juan? No, that's going to be the question. What happens when they start to miss a couple of these threes? Seem to have shot it well so far. Will their great shooting continue? Or will it be you know, a rough spell that redefines the game for them? It's half time here. In this game, two teams having already qualified for Group D. But battling it out because they both want this extra win to take forward into the second round. Rico looking comfortable. Shooting the ball, seven threes for them in this first half. As they've moved it on beautifully there, you see the back to back effort. Forty Ortiz makes another one. It is half time here. Puerto Rico 51, Mexico 35. Who will you become when the moment arrives and you're carrying the expectations of an entire nation, representing your people and their dreams, the colorful faces in the streets, the screaming fans in the stands? It's time to make your move. All eyes on you, all hope, all heart. Because when you win, you win for all. Turned over, great read. Dossay goes up, gets blocked. And the crowd love the high flying block on that one. Inside out. <laughs> Mitchell spins and rolls into the lane. Throws it down. Galea keeps it, but Campazzo, his ability to pass the basketball, then he's fouled while shooting the three. 
by Lucando. A spell where it looked like he might make it with San Antonio, and great block from Grant. Again, uses another bull screen, finds the big run. Goodness gracious! Well, bem-vindo a casa do Brasil. Camacho has come ready to play, baby. Ten of the shot clock now here for Angola. Looking to isolate. Angola, big three. Got it! Big time! Well, again, muchos gracias, Brian Angola. This is unbelievable. Wow. Beautiful feed, goes to the inside. Nice finish from Rashman. The glimpse of Esteban Batista. And you'll see Paradis, the beautiful, but oh, it's between the legs. And Cafaro gets in and throws it down. Wahoo, wahoo, wah. Missed it. He and Andrews comes up with it. Up big three. Oh, baby. He got it. We're going to double OT. I can't believe it. Action, Jackson. Are you serious? Campazzo. Look at him. Stops on a dime. Then he gets a goal. Look at the pass to Delfino. Oh, my. Oh, my. Campazzo. The two-handed, over-the-head pass back to Delfino, who's as hot as a firecracker.
Half time in San Juan then, and it is uh, Puerto Rico leading at the half. 51-35, an impressive first 20 minutes for Puerto Rico. My first chance watching them up close, and uh, they really have been impressive in that 20 minutes. Athletic, fast, they play with pace, they share the ball, they shoot it extremely well as well. And for Mexico, they've got some questions to answer in the second period then. Daniel Amigo, eight points, four assists for him. And he missed a couple of attempts late on, and Paco Cruz, usually the leader for this Mexican team, held to just three points on one of eight shooting. And that was down to some fine individual and team defense from Puerto Rico. It started with Jose Alvarado kind of setting the stall for his team and taking the challenge of guarding Paco Cruz. As Alvarado also added in eight points as there's been scoring all over the roster for Puerto Rico. Christopher Ortiz, four of six from the field, 10 points for him, seven for Clavel, seven for Reyes, and six for Condit and Thompson as well. So the depth of Puerto Rico moving uh, beneficial right now. Can they keep that rolling into the second half is the question, or will this break in play help this, the Mexican team come back? Mexico, a lot of veterans, a lot of guys that have been there before, but we said it isn't a deep team. Fabian Jaimez played all 20 minutes in that first half. It was only around 16 minutes played in total by guys off the bench for uh, for Mexico as they're running with that five. Amigo Cruz, Giron, Jaimez and Stoll for large sections. That's what it's about, FIBA. We are basketball in the banners. There's one of the most famous faces for Puerto Rican basketball. Carlos Arroyo there looking on. He is a man who's helped lead this team to the World Cup level. And is now the new generation led by Jose Alvarado. Attempt to match his achievements. Second half underway then. It is Mexico possession. They trail 35 to 51 here. Stoll has the ball. Opening possession. Sees Amigo come to screen for him. And now Paco Cruz trying to find something. A foul is going to be called. And it will go against Philip Wheeler. So Puerto Rico on defense. They're going to go Alvarado, Clavel, Condit, Ortiz and Wheeler. For Mexico it is that same five. Amigo, Cruz, Giron, Jaimez and Stoll. It is Paco Cruz. He's got to get going for Mexico. But another miss. Alvarado looking to push the tempo. Wheeler fouled. And he will go to the line for two. And Stoll doesn't like the call. Got him on the wrist. Second foul against Stoll. Oh, third foul, sorry. Wheeler's free throws. First is good. Goes two of two. Played this season in Puerto Rico, 17 points per game. Third spell playing in uh, in Puerto Rico. There's a foul was committed by Ortiz. Stoll comes to collect it. Stoll over to Cruz, those two have got to get going for me. If there's any way back for Mexico, Jaimez, a lovely little pass, and then Amigo lays it up. It looked like it was wide open. And still, Puerto Rico managed to get a great challenge on the shot. Here's the jumper, oh, but no good. And uh, Mexico come the other way. Cruz. Stops, fires from the elbow, gets it to go. Now we've got to play defense. Alvarado, this could be an offensive foul. Yep, great stand from Stoll. Alvarado yes, taps himself on his head, says uh, he's got to be a bit smarter than that. Yep, 
He tried to raise the tempo. I like the push, but look, Stoll, great position from him. Good work, Stoll. There's the finish from, from uh, Amigo. Ortiz doing his best to get back into the play, though. Nearly managed to get the block and then a foul. Uh, it's called an Alvarado. Three on him. He doesn't want to go out. Brown uh, comes back in. Alvarado coming off such a strong rookie season. He went undrafted last year as Amigo's put back doesn't go. He will stay with Mexico. But, uh, yeah, coming out of Georgia Tech, un undrafted. He picked up a uh, two-way contract with the New Orleans Pelicans, spending time with the Birmingham squadron before then moving that to a full-time contract with the Pelicans. And on to play 54 regular season games as Paco Cruz knocks down the three. And that's why the fouls are important against Alvarado. He has held Cruz in check in this game. Now, will Cruz get going? Mexico within 11. Brown skips it. It's dropped by Ortiz. Just manages to save it as Brown. Three on the clock. Pulls up. Tough shot. Misses. Offensive rebound off Wheeler. And it's going to be Mexico ball. Good effort from um, Puerto Rico, but Mexico's defense holds firm. Here's Paco Cruz. The foul is going to be called in his unsportsmanlike. Yeah, Brown wrapping the leg of Amigo. So this will be two shots and possession. Great opportunity for Mexico. And they're just chipping away at this one. He said they've got a lot of experience in that five there. He will not be rattled by this um, this deficit or this scenario here in San Juan. He goes free throw is good. Eleven points for him. One game. It's one of two though. So it is a 10 point deficit. Stole to bring it in. Mexico have possession. It's Cruz. He's in the high screen. And another foul. It's going to be Brown once more. Brown doesn't like it. He's going to pick up back to back fouls here. Being told to calm down. Just the second person on him. Let's have another look at this one. The chin is there. There you go, though, just one of two. I'm sorry, misses the first after going one of two on his last trip. that one to go. It is a single digit game. Psychological barrier then broken from Mexico as Cruz commits the two foul. <laughs> the crowd sarcastically applaud that one. All the calls haven't been going away of Puerto Rico. They're already in team fouls. This is the opportunity for Mexico. That's seven and a half minutes where they could be going to the line. Brown gets it back now. Here comes Wheeler. Wheeler between the legs. Nothing really happening. Shot clock getting low. And they're going to foul. It's a silly play. See Chiron commits it. Yeah. Two shots to come. For Clavel. 
Giron will be frustrated. Got the shot clock down so low. Just got to contain his man here, challenge the pull up. Third heavy foul, clear call from the official. And Clever makes the first one. Two for two, Clever, a lot of free throws at the start of this second half here, both ways. And he go, gives it up, and another whistle. This is what we said, it's uh, two shots to come. Wheeler unhappy, stole the master. After all this contact, gets himself to the line. Romero in. Also, uh, um, Justin Reyes has come in. Stole at the line then. Always a good free throw shooter, makes that one. Two though. Brown thinks about pushing. Sensibly slows it down then. They don't need to rush. And have a double digit lead. Nice crossover. Reyes behind his back as well. To the inside. Romero can't finish. Good work on the offensive board from Reyes. But then he goes out of bounds. Puts it back to Mexico. again at the point. Let's see if they run something. Should they could try and get Paco Cruz going? Well, poor pass from Amigo expected. <laughs> expected the man to be open. He wasn't a crowd incensed here. Oh, the whistles. Referee's gonna have to talk this one over. See the players coming together. Referee's now talking. Things a bit scrappy. Let's see what they said. Sounds sports going to have foul. And this time is. Wow. Happiness on the Puerto Rican team there. I think Fabian Jaimez will be you know disappointed. He did reach from behind. That's probably the reason for the unsportsmanlike to let the man go behind past him to then reach in. If he had just uh, left that right arm out the way, it would have been their possession. But Brown, two of two. Possession for Puerto Rico. After such a free-flowing game in that first half, it has not been that way here. Can we start the second? Brown now. Oh, lovely ball movement, but stole with some quick hands. Takes it back from Mexico. No need to turn it over. Reaches in, but look now, five on one. They'll pull up for three. It's good. And Clavel takes the... Uh, Tough option. And he is fired up. Rightly <laughs> so, to about 12 points. He took the gamble, taking the three in transition. It paid off. Timeout called by Mexico. They now trail by 15 here.
Josh Quintero will talk it through with his team. A few turnovers they don't want to have. Had such a great opportunity. They've cut their lead to single digits. And the Puerto Rican team is in foul trouble. And he tries to get themselves to the line, Mexico. But instead, they haven't been able to hold on to the ball. And it's played into the hands of Puerto Rico. see the three and sent the game to a timeout. Clavel, confident stroke from him. Running straight to the three-point line. He knows how the crowd react. And you see his excitement. Mexico ball then. Out of this timeout. See Clavel. Sunken it through with Romero. Stoll breaks the pressure. Hands it over to Giron. Now to Cruz. Cruz. Back to Jaimes. And he knocks down the three. He's extended his range. Fabian Jaimes. He used to have that shot in his locker, but confident taking it now. First leg for me on the three point line for him tonight. A big basket for Mexico. Big basket as a team. Romero trying to use his speed against Amigo. Amigo just takes in the rebound. Not even leaving the floor. Chiron now. Backing it down. Goes to the spin. He was making everything in that first half. Gabriel, Gabriel Chiron. This is that one. Clavel along the baseline. He loses it. Here comes Mexico. Cruz ahead of everybody. There he is. Oh, it's wiped away. Good rejection. From Puerto Rico, and a foul is going to be called. It is Chris Ortiz again making plays. Well, Ortiz has been a highlight reel. Two dunks, a block, and some threes as well. Let's have another look at this one. How did he recover to that? Great work from Ortiz. Could have easily given up on the play, but he didn't. I have to see that effort. Two shots here. Justin Reyes at the line. Perfect from the field in the game. Reyes, he's got seven points. Three rebounds. Two, two for him. Uh, he's going to come with the defensive pressure, but can't keep Stoll in front. Oh, waits for the screen. Thought about the three. Picks it up, finds Amigo. He's got some room, but it's taken away. Romero this time showed his athleticism. I think the fans like that one. Back to back blocks from Puerto Rico. Two great plays. Excellent timing there from Romero. Cruz here. Comes off the screen, splits two defenders. The little floater, good. Well, Cruz, 10 points now, four of 13 from the field though. And cross court pass, Romero lays it up. Oh, it's Ortiz, plus the foul. Ortiz, two more for his total. And he will be at the line for a bonus as well. Already mentioned Ortiz uh, played uh, his club basketball the last two seasons exclusively. Oh, the last, yeah, the last two seasons, excuse me, exclusively in Puerto Rico before that. Uh, and traveled through Cyprus, Finland, Denmark, Stoll to Amigo. Amigo. Takes two attempts, but puts it home. 
Mexico can't trade baskets with Puerto Rico there. They've got to get some stops this end of the floor. Clever. Sit out. Reyes. Now Romero. Romero will go on his own. Kicks it. It is his three doesn't go. Romero just great work on the boards. Excellent work from him. Foul is going to be called. Team fouls against both teams, so two shots to come here. Chris Ortiz will be back at the line. Kind of like a half handoff, wasn't it? Faked it. So Bonilla comes in. I haven't seen a lot of him tonight, the youngster. And that is because Fabian Jaimez has just picked up foul number four. We said how important he is. And there's a huge call against Fabian Jaimez. So Mexico now turn to um, yeah, here Bonilla. He plays for FC Barcelona. So he has some uh, pedigree. But just 19 years of age, the 208 forward. First was good for it is. Second misses though. Stoll. Here it is, Giron. Now to Cruz. Cruz trying to find some space. Runs into two defenders. They'll take it away. But then somehow Puerto Rico can't hold on to it. Brown examines the ball. Doesn't know what happened. Just seemed to go through his hands. And bounce up where he expected it. I just kind of skidded, didn't it? There, it looked like. Three thirty-four in the third period. Then Cruz brings his teammates to clear. Brings it down against the pressure. Moves it on. Stoll. One way than the other off that high screen. They need one more. Stoll finds Amigo. Amigo the extra pass. Finish no good. There'll be two shots to come. And he uh, was that couldn't get the cup to go. And credit to Daniel Amigo again. There he is. Offensive glass, keeping everything alive. Amigo's first doesn't drop. Two of five from the free throw line. Daniel Amigo has got 14 points. He's got four assists and six rebounds, but it could have been a lot more if he'd made his free throws as he goes one of two once again. 13 point lead for Puerto Rico as we will hit the three minute mark in quarter number three here on this possession. Thompson gives it up. Strong drive and an easy finish at the end. Romero gets it to go. Stoll nearly loses it. Cruz throws it in now. Boinia, his three doesn't go. Brown quickly the other way. Brown wants it back from Romero, takes it. Doesn't go. Stoll, Stoll takes the three. Buries it. Big shot from Paul Stoll. Doesn't really look too much for scoring opportunities. One of four for him before that shot. The lob can't find his target in Romero. Five seconds on the clock. Romero's going to get the offensive rebound. His little shuffle pass taken away. 
And eventually Brown misses everything. Three seconds on the shot clock now. Jorge Gutierrez comes in, still goes out. Sideline possession. Three seconds, Puerto Rico trying to find something. Take the tough three and get it to go. And defensive rebound from Mexico. They'll take it in. Mendes. Jump shot, too strong. Puerto Rico in no hurry. As Brown tries to split between two people, wrong decision by him. And the three is up and good. There's Orlando Mendez coming to the party here. Mexico within single digits. They will not. He's shaken this Mexican team. Came back, and it looked like they were dead and buried once more. Now they're back in contention. They need a stop here, though. Switching defense. Strong drive doesn't go. The tip doesn't go. Another shot fails to convert. There's Cruz. Tries to find the skip pass, just turns it over. And Puerto Rico do the same. Mexico will hold here for the final shot, surely. Mendes takes it because he's so open. Can't get it to go, and it just falls into the hands of Puerto Rico. Final 10 seconds for them. They do have to take a shot. Try and stretch that lead as much as they can. Thompson loses it. And that is going to be the end of the third period. Our teams to the benches. We're at three quarter time here. Puerto Rico 68, Mexico 59. Great statistics, just great percentages all down that left hand column for Puerto Rico. Not the worst for Mexico, just struggling to keep up with their counterparts from uh, North America. Yeah. Cruz got going for Mexico, thought that was going to spark him into life. It's open three, but it didn't really. Still a fantastic game for him. Scrappy um, start to the third quarter, settled. As the game went on, and the whistles. For Mexico, they just seem to be hanging on right now, keeping themselves in the game, making plays when they need to. The big worry for them is that man there, Fabian Jaimez, has four personal fouls. And will have to continue to sit for a little while yet before he comes back. Great defensive play from Puerto Rico. Two to two for them. Ortiz can get more offensive end as well. Yeah, both teams already qualified for the second round. For some pride, but also playing for their record. They will take into the second round groups. Every win important for these two teams. So make sure you follow along. It's the final game in this group now. That is after the USA have defeated Cuba 87 to 64. The penultimate game in Group D.
as now out onto the floor as we will get underway in the final period. Jose <laughs> Alvarado just checking the FIBA rules as to those NBA ones. Smart from him. So he comes back out, only three fouls. He's got through that quarter now. And play a sizable chunk here in quarter number four, that's for sure. Alvarado using the screen. Nice curl, drive, kick. Alvarado can't leave him open, knocks it down. I love the team play, the team nature of that the offense from Puerto Rico. Guys turning down shots to get better ones and selfish on dribble penetration as well. Mendez gives it over. And here's a three from Cruz. Cruz starting to heat up. 13 for Paco Cruz. Cover. At the point. Alvarado loses it. Chance to run. <laughs> Gutierrez. Was he fouled or is it a goal ten? See Gutierrez taking it in. Soft foul, but he'll count. He's actually given as a goal tend, not a foul. So no foul called, but the basket has been given. Means it's a seven point game here. Could become five on this. Gutierrez beats his man, is fouled. Thompson trying to split a gap that doesn't really exist. Chance in the open floor for Mexico. They bring it in. Zipper was the call. There it is. Cruz skip, uh, scooping it high. Probably expecting Amigo to try and get on the offensive rebound. He wasn't able to. He was well boxed out by the Americans. But Alvarado turns it over. Gutierrez gives it up. Amigo now hands it off. Mendez, Mendez waiting for something to happen. And Mendez gets to his spot on the elbow. But it bounces clear. Alvarado gets his team organized. Comes to collect it, takes the three. That's a better looking stroke. And somebody from Mexico, from uh, Puerto Rico taking their time, knocking it down in rhythm. And of course, it is that man, Jose Alvarado. Almost the high low deflected. Off of the hands of Amigo, chance to run for Puerto Rico. Alvarado's shot doesn't go. It will be possession back to Mexico. Another chance for them. Gutierrez has the ball. Mendez, Mendez can't do anything off the dribble. Goes to Amigo. Nice kick out from Amigo. Bonilla getting some good minutes. They create the extra pass and Paco Cruz heating up. Watch out. Here comes Mexico then. That makes it a seven point game. Cruz now to 16. And someone who did struggle mightily, from, especially from shooting the ball early, is now four of nine from beyond the three point line. Timeout called by Puerto Rico. Still seven minutes left in this one. Mexico holding on. Just hanging around now. Bueno, 
leading scorers for Puerto Rico. No surprises really there. Alvarado, Ortiz, Clavel leading the way. That's some great percentages. Said they've been impressed with this performance, been impressed with this team. They shoot it well, they get up and down, they play hard. But they still got to shake this Mexican team to get victory here. Puerto Rico. 20 minutes of a performance needs nothing for them. They have a two and three record. They need to get it to three and three. Taking that into the second round. There's Cruz. Bench was already up as it came out of his hands. Alvarado, what a happy man. Puerto Rican possession. Gutierrez done a pretty decent job. And of course, that was an important piece for Mexico, but Gutierrez brings something a bit different. Bigger guard, a bit more physicality than Stoll. Probably more defensive minded. Picks up the foul on this occasion, though. Alvarado brings it in. Clavel. What about the three spins? Good recovery from Amigo. Challenge on the three, doesn't go. Oh, nearly an offensive rebound, it was. Clavel kicks it this time. Thompson falls to the floor for the second time. It's going to get warned for that, surely. This one is a foul. And, uh, you know, Gutierrez probably will regret that one. It was the third time a three-point shot went up. And, uh, there was a close attempt at a block slash foul on. So it is three shots to come for Clavel. 12 points for him. This is the first. In no hurry for the second. Clavel steadies himself. Wow. Oh, 0 for 2. Makes the third. It is a college ball at Colorado State. Coming out in 2017, Clavel as Mexico nearly turn it over. And Clavel is on the floor. Play continues. Alvarado looking to push. Goes cross court. Thompson, Clavel says, let's set this up. I'll make a play here. Spins. Goes off the glass, doesn't quite fall for him. Rebound, bouncing around. Puerto Rico win the battle. And then an offensive foul. Come to it. Looks like he's going to be called for the foul. Yeah, I don't think he got a chance to see that one. Bonilla taking a good roll in this fourth quarter without Jaime's on the floor. He might come back soon, Bonilla. Oh, he could keep him on the bench if he makes them. It's a five-point game. A 19-year-old makes a big shot. First points. Mexico still just hanging around. Always dangerous. There's the tough finish from 
Alvarado doesn't go, wants the foul. Not going to get it. Romero back into the game. Try and steady things up for his team. Great opportunity here once again for Mexico. Is Cruz coming to get it? Comes off the screen. Finds Bonny. I just made one. Didn't even look at the basket on that one. Goes to Amigo instead. Amigo gives it back. Bonny is going to have to shoot it now. Misses everything. That's where you question why he didn't shoot about three seconds before. And he gave it in to uh, Amigo. He had the opportunity. Having just made one. Alvarado gets the switch from Giron. Now he says, let's use some time. Romero squaring up, not drawing anybody to help. Gets it deep. That's where he can do damage. And he does exactly that. Romero with the score. Credit to the assist. As Cruz takes and makes another one. Five of ten from three for him. It's a four-point game. Incredible here. Alvarado misses a quick one. Marco Cruz calling the play. Now he finds Giron who takes a quick one. They break the play and rightly so. It's a one-point game. Where did this come from? Puerto Rico struggling in the fourth quarter. A 17-9 run for Mexico. They're in within one. Timeout called by Puerto Rico. They need to talk this over. Oh. Credit to Mexico for just hanging around. for any bad language you may have picked up in that passionate time out there. Krishna Sankonlan, certainly his team, they got to run the offense. making his fifth three of the night. And then the assist for Giron as well. Now that's what Giron's known as. So trailing by one Mexico. Pick up some full court defense here. Puerto Rico, oh, pass it to the ankles of their teammate. Cruz is going to reach and pick up a cheap one. Clavel just uh, drops the ball, takes his spot over on the far side. Drive and finish is good. Romero, an important score. A little bit of breathing room then for Puerto Rico. Bonilla still out there. Valuable minutes for him when will Jaimez come back in. Oh, it's going to be a foul, isn't it? Yeah, Romero trying to reach in, just catches Amigo in the head. Isn't team fouls against Puerto Rico yet, so it'll be... Sideline possession for Mexico. Still a one-shot game. 
Cruz. Well, that could have been the one shot there. Defense jumps out on him. There's now Bonilla to the left, goes off the glass, Amigo. Excellent offensive rebound, and he lays it up for two. One point game again. He hit three minutes left on this possession. And Puerto Rico lead it by just one point. Romero off the drive, too easy. Uses the speed just to go past Daniel Amigo. Nice looking finish from him. Cruz looking for it, gets it, has an opening. Dances in, finish though, doesn't go. We'll stay with uh, Mexico. is having a word with the referee. She wants to make sure everything's okay. And line possession for Mexico. Amigo steps out. Giron draws the switch. Amigo's a threat on the rebound here. And Giron's jumper doesn't even need him. Giron knocks it down. Two more for his tally. 14 points now for him. It's a one-point game. Bodies on the floor. And a travel. So it goes back to... We see Giron pulling up. Cruz taking his time, comes off the screen, finds Bonilla. He's got it rejected, but it's called as a goal tend. Well, that's a solid five points now from Bonilla. Referee's going to go to the monitor, check this one. See the pass from Cruz. When he uh, lays it up, not sure we can see from that angle. Make no doubt. Ortiz believed this was clean. See Bonilla. Uh, had the ball hit the backboard? That's the question. This is a tough one for the officials. They need to get it right. There's only 2.05 left in this game. Another angle here. A beautiful feed from Cruz. Yeah, and it up. I've got to say, at that angle, it did look like a goaltend. Still, we await here. Finally, looks like referees are able to make the decision. And it will be basket good. So the review is over. Was called as a goaltend. The decision on the floor will, will stand. We get the thumbs up and we're really nearly ready to get underway then. Possession for Puerto Rico. Alvarado just manages to hold on to it. It is a Mexico lead now, 82 to 81. 
First time in a long time they have said those words as Alvarado runs into trouble, falls to the floor, hangs on to it. It's a scrap for the loose ball and a heady play over the top. Gutierrez lays it up for two more. Well, what a pass over the top for Mexico. Gutierrez lays it up. Six points for him. It was young Bonilla that threw the beautiful pass. Now he's playing defense. There's Amigo late on the rotation. 25-13 fourth quarter this has been. Mexico have struggled a bit for points at times. They've put together 25 points in this fourth quarter. They've got the 84-81 to 81 lead. Well, you have to go all the way back to the first quarter when they led 18 to 15. That was the last time inside the final minute of their first quarter. Uh, Mexico have led in this game now with 1.14 left here in the final period. They have a three point lead. They do have possession. Alvarado brings it in. Wheeler by Thompson. Over to Alvarado. Can he make a play for them? He's going to give it up. Clavel takes the tough three. Comes up short. Alvarado the rebound. He'll take the three and he ties it. Inside the final minute. Alvarado's tied the game. A chance of defense come out as Cruz. Trying to find some room. Cruz gives it up. Amigo has been a good passer. Goes cross court. Giron. Now Gutierrez. He'll take the turnaround. Can't get it. Alvarado will be looking to push here. Can go two for one. Oh, it's an offensive foul. That's such a great play from Giron. Alvarado's got to calm down. It was outside the charge circle. No doubt. Watch this as a defensive play from Giron. That is just brilliant from him. Great work from Gabriel Giron. As Mexico are going to call a timeout here. We're tied at 84. 33 seconds left. So they can advance the ball. They can go two for one. They can manage it. Look at the team fouls as well. Puerto Rico got fouls to give. I think, I think that's one, if I can see the board correctly. Mexico don't. is what it's come down to. Tied at 84, 33 seconds remaining. Charge on Jose Alvarado as his fourth personal. One to go for him. Something to consider if this game goes to overtime. So Paco Cruz the floor 19 points the leading scorer for Mexico Giron 14 Gutierrez collects it they take it from the end line to get the full 24 decide not to go two for one they get it safely to the hands of Cruz this is they what they want this middle screen Paco Cruz draws two defenders pass to the inside now still plenty of time Amigo Loses it out of bounds. Good possession for Puerto Rico. Now they will have 11 seconds to get a good shot and win this one. No fouls to give for Mexico. So timeout called. 
Puerto Rico head into their bench. And the fans in San Juan want one final basket from their team. Alvarado leads the way, 17 points. He's surely option number one, but Clavel, 13 points. Ortiz, 14. Romero, 12. All out there on the floor. And even uh, Thompson, who was the fifth man, he's hit two threes on his way to six points as well. So a lot of offensive threats for uh, Puerto Rico for this final shot. Go there, good work. Said one shot. They do not want to lose this game. That is for sure. They would rather go to overtime than lose. So they're going to hold, take the final shot, making sure that there is no chance for Mexico to win it at the death here. So. This is what it's come down to, 11 seconds. Thompson will bring it in for Puerto Rico. Shot on guard in him, switching defense. Got to get it in first, and that's going to be a backcourt violation. Wow. Clavel couldn't get the ball in. He touches it. Goes into the backcourt, and Mexico now. It is their opportunity. Timeout called. Yeah. Clear call. Nobody else touched it. And so a bad pass that couldn't find Clavel. As Puerto Rico have gone from being in the timeout saying make sure we take the last shot so we don't give Mexico a chance to now needing to get a stop here. 9.4 seconds, a lot of time for Mexico. This is money time for Coach uh, Quintero. Chance for him to draw something up. That's, uh, Gutierrez in lots of discussion. A real team effort. the turnover how costly will that be for Puerto Rico it could be the difference in this game Nine seconds then Mexico will bring it in get it in to Amigo He's trying to get it to the hands of Cruz. He can't. Amigo, got to be careful not to get a five-second violation. Time is running out. Amigo fires it up. Great defense from Puerto Rico, and we are heading to overtime. Now, both teams failing to convert on their final possession. Amigo desperately trying to get it into the hands of Paco Cruz, but some good denial defense. Sees this one head to a bonus five minutes. The end of regulation here. It is Puerto Rico 84, Mexico 84.
Well, a pretty good game throughout. However, turnovers costly for both teams down the stretch. There's the backcourt violation. Gutierrez delighted. Uh, it only led to a near turnover from uh, Mexico as well. As they managed to get the ball in bounds, but couldn't hand it off to Paco Cruz that he wanted to make the final play. So defense won out on both the uh, last couple of possessions there. And we get a bonus five minutes. The, uh, the thing to take into consideration here, going into this extra period, is foul trouble. There's Alvarado, he has four. He's the only one really for uh, Puerto Rico. Next man up is uh, Philip Wheeler, who has three. On the other side, four fouls on Jorge Gutierrez, four fouls on Fabian Jaimes as well, and then three on Giron and Amigo and Stoll for uh, Mexico. So I don't think they'll be too worried about Gutierrez because they can play him, they can play Stoll instead. But Fabian Jaimes barely played in that fourth quarter. Um, they did get a good performance from uh, Yahir Benilla, though, in his place. So, Bonilla has come back in. There he is. Cruz to Chiron. Someone's going to be open. They'll leave the youngster, Bonilla. And he turns it over. Just didn't look too confident on that one, did he? As Romero gives it up. Thompson kicks it out. Alvarado. Oh, nice feed. Oh, rejected by Bonilla, but a foul is called. Looked like he'd got that clean, but Romero will be at the line instead. 84 apiece still. Ishmael. Uh, Romero. Makes number one. Romero has uh, played four games. He is only a 39% free throw shooter across those uh, four games for Puerto Rico. So, arguably a good foul in the end for Mexico. He goes just one of two. Gutierrez wide open, misses badly. And the rebound snatched in by Clavel. Now, Alvarado. Puerto Rico trying to control this tempo better in the overtime period. Alvarado looking around, finds Clavel. Clavel uses his man, takes the long two and makes it. Now it's a three point game, back to back part, uh, scores for Puerto Rico there, but we know that uh, Mexico always seem to have an answer. Bonilla goes early. This is that one. What an opportunity this could be. Alvarado again, no hurry. Organizes things for his team. Here he comes, looking to catch it high. He does. Screen from Romero. Alvarado behind his back, draws the switch. He's got to shoot it quick. Does he know he does? Fires it up, misses everything. That's the trouble with uh, trying to control the tempo. There's Amigo, collects it, kicks it. Bonilla comes up short. And that could be all she wrote for uh, Jorge Gutierrez there. If that is called against him, that is going to be foul number five. This is uh, Clavel on the step back. So the foul means there's a long walk the other way. It actually was caught against Daniel Amigo. So that is his fourth foul now. Another worrying number. Now Amigo's needed on the inside. First free throw, good for Jose Alvarado. Yeah, Amigo with the foul before Gutierrez gets there. Only one of two, though, for Alvarado. 
switch it on or bring it down. Can he come up with another big play for his team? Gives it to Cruz. Cruz draws two, moves it on. Now wide open, Gutierrez can't hit it. Jaime's back into the game, couldn't get a hand on the rebound. He sat for a long time. The lead is four, 240 left in overtime. Clavel taking Tamara out of the ball, bouncing, holding, waiting. Now he gets the switch. Four fouls on Amigo as well. Clavel all the way in, finishes it off for two. That's a big time finish. There you see Clavel fired up. Trying to pump up the crowd in San Juan. Six point lead for Puerto Rico. Now pulled by Mexico. Puerto Rico got to stay humble here though. Remember at one stage, they lead all the way up to 18 in regulation. Plenty of time. That's the statement from Coach Quintero. You don't need to rush. It's only two possessions. Well, they need high quality shots, and then they've got to back it up on the defensive end. and get these little mini runs together. So often coaches will break it into those three possessions, whether it be three straight defensive stops or a stop, a score, and a stop on back-to-back -back possessions. That is what uh, I need right now, Mexico. Starts on this end as Amigo moves it. Stoll wide open. This will be big. Can't get it to go. It could have carved the lead. With still more than two minutes left. Alvarado again, trying to control things, trying to slow it down for his team. It's uh, Clavel taking the long jumper again, misses. Oh, but a great offensive rebound for Ortiz over Jaimez, who is the leading rebounder. In the Americas region. There's Clavel this time, kicks it. Alvarado, the roof's going to come off. San Juan fired up. Alvarado makes the three. It's a nine point game. Fan is on the floor. Look at this, a beautiful find from Clavel. And hits Alvarado wide open. And the crowd, the players, they're all fired up. Everyone happy here, except for the Mexican fans and players. Cruz, this is the play they wanted at the end of regulation. Finds Amigo, Amigo can't finish. Good effort from Fabian Jaimez, but came away with nothing now. Chance for more time off the clock as well, it's a little scrap. Stolen Alvarado getting into it. He's doing well to break it down. Seems to be settled.
So referees trying to get control here. So one minute left. It's a nine-point game. Okay, Cruz still frustrated. I think it's uh, at the security more than anything else. So referees now. Send their teams to the benches. And they'll discuss this to see what's going to happen. You've got the initial incident. That's the first thing between Stoll and Alvarado. And then it's any aftermath. See if anything else is going to happen there. Oh, Alvarado already has four fouls. So uh, I think that may be the end of the night for him. Paco, uh, excuse me, Paul Stoll has three. A lot of discussion still being had, players. Officiating crew then getting together. It's uh, Michael Weiland, Juan Fernandez, and Jason Stell. Two Canadians and an Argentinian there discussing things. They're going to go to the monitor. That's uh, no surprise. So, so the original foul is against Paul Stoll. And that's what they've said, and now they're going to go to the monitor to see what happened afterwards. So they've called the foul on Stoll, and now they'll check to see what else occurred. Here it is. There's the foul. And Stoll didn't like it. He was wrapped up, wasn't he? Not much else in that. I've got to say that Alvarado, probably the instigator there, coming together. Good work from you know the players and the officials to break it up so quickly. Yeah, Stoll commits the foul. Then I think there's going to be a foul on uh, Alvarado there, probably, for him wrapping Stoll as well. With a smile as he's taken away. Okay, uh, credit to the players. So, yeah, this is where Cruz is frustrated, and I don't think it's. It's any of the players that he's frustrated at. I think it's actually directed at some of the security that came rushing in. So here we see the incident again, a wider angle. They're checking to see if anybody's come off the bench. That's the important thing. No, nobody comes in. So smart from both sides. Puerto Rican players do a good job staying. Let's do the Mexicans. Anybody who comes in from the bench. It's an automatic ejection. So both teams remain. Yeah, there's where Paco Cruz is frustrated because he's being held back by the security guard. So now that's where his anger comes from. Clavel comes in, tries to walk him away. Cruz is angry at the security. Like we've got to the end of this one. See what the officials come up with. Yeah. 
So, referees will discuss it and with the coaching staff to tell them what they've uh, judged. So there was the foul against Paul Stoll. We know that, but uh, doesn't seem to be too much else the referees are going to call. I said both teams stayed on the benches, so they're quite happy. So yeah, it is just going to be the the foul on Paul Stoll. Shots to come from Alvarado. It's 93-84. One minute remaining in overtime here. And Salvador makes the first. Makes it a 10-point game. 22 personal for him. Misses the second. Ramos grabs in the rebound. Here is Stolden bringing it down. Cruz. Finds Amigo on the roll. Right down the middle, Amigo, big finish. Plus the foul. So Amigo, 19 points. There you go. Gets the right, the, um, the lane down the middle. Port Ortiz left underneath the rim as the lone defender gets put on a post up. Amigo makes the bonus as well, but is it going to be enough? It's a seven-point game, 48 seconds remains. Reyes comes in for Puerto Rico as they go even smaller. Romero out because of his poor free-throw shooting. Clavel holding, waiting, using this time wisely here. No foul coming from Mexico. As now Romero backs it out to five. Kick, open look. Thompson wide open. Uh, can seal the game. Thompson gets the friendly roll. Makes it a double digit game once more. Right, uh, now 20 seconds remains. Stoll kicks it. Giron can't find any space. Does eventually get it away, but it's a tough shot. Amigo's reverse doesn't go. Puerto Rico snatching the rebound. They will dribble this one out to a, a good win here to wrap up their qualification. Jose Alvarado fired up. Puerto Rico escape in overtime to take the victory here. A great win from them. It is Puerto Rico 97, Mexico 87. Players shaking hands. He seems to be okay after the little scuffle at the end. A 13-3 overtime gives Puerto Rico the win here today. An entertaining game, this one. So, look at those numbers. Root percentages. From Puerto Rico, 43% on 13 makes from three. They dominated on the glass as well. And, uh, you know, they nearly threw it away, though. On one stage, an 18-point lead in regulation for Mexico. Sent it to overtime. Amigo, 20 to lead the way for Mexico. Alvaro, 22 for Puerto Rico.
the best plays of the second half. And I felt like it meant something to this Puerto Rican team here at home, playing in San Juan. You know, with that record, they needed this win to have any chance of qualification into the World Cup, any chance of getting through the second round group. A big crowd here, they were fired up. Team paid with passion, you know. It was a great performance from them in the first half. They won the first two quarters, you know, sizably. Remember, they won that second period, 32 to 17. Said at one stage it was an 18-point lead, but then Mexico won both quarters in the second half. They sent it to overtime with a big 25-16 uh, fourth quarter. The team at the end of regulation could take advantage, both turning over chances to win at the end of the game. And then in overtime, there was only one winner, wasn't there? Puerto Rico just uh, made all the right plays to take eventually the 97-87 lit win. I think the score a little flattering, didn't show how close or competitive the game was. And if you don't see it goes into overtime, you would have no idea of the dramas that unfolded here. Some good three-point shooting from the Puerto Rican team throughout, 13 makes from their 30 attempts. And, uh, that is good for 43% Mexico themselves. Uh, shooting 35%. Both teams offensively looked pretty good. But at the end, it was just uh, one step too far for Mexico after all the energy they exerted to get themselves back into the game. So, Marco Cruz stepped up in that second half after a tough first 20 minutes to lead the way for Mexico. He had 19 points and five assists. Credit to Daniel Amigo, 20 points and nine rebounds for him. Giron, 14, Fabian Jaimez, 11, as four of the five starters reached double digits for Mexico. And the other way for Puerto Rico, Alvarado, 22, Clavel, 17. They were the guys who were stepping up when they needed it. And Ortiz with 14 and Romero with 13 as well. Must be given a lot of credit. So what will this will leave us with is the group standings in Group D. The USA, an easy victory over Cuba. So Mexico in second spot. Puerto Rico finished third. But uh, we already knew those three teams were the ones advancing. The win-loss record is what we have clarified here in Group D as we wrap up qualification from the first round.